आज को अब भी हमी पानल डिस्कसन्स पटी लगने पानल डिस्कसन्स को लगी अब हमी हमारा गेस्टर स्पीकर्स पानलिस्टर स्टेज में हमी निम्त्यान चाहौ एंड वहाँ फर्स्ट एंड फरमोस्ट जतिजा आ स्टेज में वहाँ संपूर्ण यही स्टेज यही मंच हमी धन्यवाद भी दिन चाहौ इस आर आज को एचआर मीट में यह पानल डिस्कसन करें हमी मज के नलेज सेयर कर दिन राजी होने वहाँ हमी धन्यवाद दिन चाहौ एंड फर्स्ट एंड फरमोस्ट टू Start off with our first panel discussion for the HR Meet 2023. Let me call upon our facilitator, Mr. Bhuvan Kumar Dahal, who is uh, the former president of Nepal Bankers Association. Also, he is the facilitator for this uh, panel discussion that's aptly titled "Nurturing the Human Side of." Human capital, and on the panelists, uh, let me welcome Professor Dr. Madhu Dixit Devkota, Executive Chairperson of the Upendra Devkota Memorial National Institute of Neurological and Allied Sciences. Likewise, I'd also like to welcome our another panelist, Professor Dr. Pushkar Bajracharya, the senior academic academician and former member of the National Planning Commission of Nepal. And uh, we'd also like to call upon our next. Uh, uh, Panelist on the dais, I can see Sir already smiling. He's already excited to uh, take part and share his knowledge. Uh, uh, Dr. Minender Rizal is also a senior academician, senior politician, and a former minister of the government of Nepal. So right now, I would like to hand over the stage and the next session, our first session, nurturing the human side of human capital, to our facilitator, uh, uh, Bhuvan Kumar Dahalsa, the former president of Nepal Bankers Association. This session is powered by Apex College. This uh, discussion, the panelists, and uh, this panel discussion has been powered by Apex College. So, if the, there's a little audio clip that we need to present about Apex College, it's just a small, short one. So, we'd like to thank Apex College for kindly partnering with us and powering this uh, first uh, panel discussion. Uh, thank you so much. Good morning and namaskar. We are very lucky to have uh, such a distinguished personalities here on the dais. From horse's mouth, we'll be listening to various aspects of this uh, human side of human capital. You know, before I start this session, I would like to share with you one of the greatest quotes of Mahatma Gandhi. I'm sorry. He has said that the greatness of humanity is not in being human, but in being human. So there is a difference of only one letter. That is what is the human side that we are going to discuss today. Uh, and we are going to listen to respected panelists. They are learned people and they are respected people. Uh, I think they don't need introduction. Nevertheless, I'll just briefly tell something about them. Uh, Dr. Madhu, Professor Dr. Madhu Dichit Devkota, uh, she is currently the chairperson of Kun Hospital Kohala. Can you guess? Okay. I am just like a thousand of an eh, Upendra Devkotali Neuro Hospital Kolnovato, and she is chairing that hospital now. So if we
just compared to that, she has been in the health sector for the last four decades and she has been uh, teaching at Institute of Management. I recently you left there. Instead of, uh, sorry, so I'm from management field, so <laughs> mistakenly I use that, I'm really sorry. She had been the faculty of Institute of Medicine at Maharaj Ganj. She taught there for many years, that is why she became the professor and she doesn't have experience of only having worked there at uh, Maharaj Ganj or at Neuro Hospital. She worked there in the UK, she worked there in India as well, so she carries a lot of experience and in addition to teaching and um, working as health professional, she has been uh, making a lot of contribution in policy formulation in the health sector and she has contributed a lot. So her contribution is really significant and uh, we are really happy to have you here, ma'am. And we have another um, respected person, he is Professor Dr. Puskar Bajracharya, I think most of us have heard his name, who come from the management field and so far as his contribution to this industry, education industry is concerned, it has been around five decades, sir, really? almost five decades. And uh, though he is formally retired from Tribune University, he has still been our mentoring. He has been associated with so many universities He has been associated with so many universities in various capacities. So we are very lucky to have him here. And so far his education background is concerned. India, Nepal, he has studied there in the UK. And at the same time, he has taught in various colleges. He has lectured, present, he has made presentation in maybe around 100 universities. So he carries with him a lot of experience. This the Bhakti Amisa Ununcha. And at the same time, he was a former member of National Planning Commission. And he has made a lot of policy contributions. He was part of 300 research papers. Recently, our Nepal economic crisis is related to the That's a very important book. Uh, sir, what is the name of that book? In disarray. In disarray. Disarray. It's a very timely book, and if you can manage time, you can go through it. So, such a renowned person is here on the uh, panel today. And uh, now, one more uh, panelist. You have heard him as a politician, uh, Dr. Minendra Rijal. He is not only a politician. Maybe most of you or some of you may not be knowing that he has got a strong academic background. He was a topper in BSc in, from Trivandrum University. He was a topper in Masters in Management from Trivandrum University. Not only in Nepal, he was a topper there in manage, MBA there in US also. What? Son University. Is that the University of New York. He was a topper there and he did MPhil from New York University, he did PhD from New York University and when you become a good student, then you get an opportunity to teach and he was a student there and at the same time he started teaching at New York University also for around three years. So he was a professor there. So what I'm trying to highlight here is you know him as a member of the parliament, you know him as former minister of Nepal government, his introduction is not just confined to that. He has got a lot of academic background and if you know about Apex College, Apex College is one of the sponsors of this program also and he has been the founding chairperson of that college and Apex College has been making meaningful contribution to this country. Right? We are so lucky to have him here, so welcome sir. Uh, so I don't want to spend much time in their introduction, their uh, uh, action itself will speak with the passage of time. I'll be asking them some questions and they will definitely, uh, you'll be hearing from the horse's mouth. Madam Chai, health sector, ma, you have been here for around four decades. You have been teaching and you have been supervising hospitals. But when we talk about human side of human capital, I mean, doctor like not only human side, I mean, godly is Health professionals are respected as gods. I mean, human matter, I mean, God could open here. So, I mean, hospital, be it private hospitals or government uh, hospitals, they have health professionals who have a dealing with patients. Just say, I'll get a smile, Sath Boldin of Bobani Matri, I mean, once again, fifty percent disease is away. Our Madame Lai Meroche, Azurbada, I mean, Sapil Sunnas, I go be saying, Azur like Kilaks, I'm a health professional, Sarmajun, human side change on Hunupaniho, to nurturing Bakosaki China, Banikurama. What is your perception about that? What is your impression about health professionals dealing with patients and family members of the patients, Madam? Thank you so much for a very eloquent introduction. I wonder if I really deserve all that accolade. 
and I think that would not be a problem because I see mostly Nepali people in the crowd. Having said that, this light is pretty bright and, you know, I can't see you all. My <laughs> eyes are tearing already. Um, uh, just like someone like. When you see, you see a doctor, you see the output of his work, but you, perhaps what you do not see is that there's, a, there's an entire team behind it, behind the person. And that's enabling the doctor to do and to uh, you know, get the output that is of quality, that is reliable, and that is trustworthy. When you're talking about humane side of management, of course, you know, the, the doctor is the, the tip of the iceberg and his personal attributes, we can't ignore that, obviously. Uh, but that's just the tip of, tip of the iceberg, I would like to say, all of us, be it in any profession, you have to be, you ha must have empathy. Agi Bharkar Guru le bannu bayo, mutu chai Nepali ko planning chai German ko. I shall always remember that. Um, it really, it touched my heart. Te sunale, yo jun attributes chan, humane attributes. Mo humane profession ma mo kase la care garni, kase ko jyan lai asar paani profession ma chhu bane, tiyo attributes chai ta definitely mo ma hunu parsa. Um, you know, much I, uh, you know, if I am a pleasant personality, if there is compassion in my eyes, when I enter the room of the patient or in the bed, go to by the bedside of the patient, the patient is going to imbibe a lot of that and would already be hopeful and, you know, positive. That, you know, helps a lot in our uh, immune, uh, immune system and in our well-being. They doctor Risara Junior Lapani Galigaraja, nurse Lapani Korai Raza, just the doctor Risara of the Binami Kampuk Sabane, to Binami Lechai, John Usko Bitrachai, Esto endorphins are released Unsa, Jelegar Dakeri, Usko immune system lie, or Jay suppress Gara, Ula Rogue Butter, recover Gurna, Johnny Samai Laksa. This Nali, your personal attributes Bandapani, Malai Chanke Laksabane. I would have to talk about having a humane system for managing the people that work for us. I am a service sector. I am a service sector. We are totally dependent on our team. Me, as the executive chair, may have great ideas, but if my team does not understand, what I'm aiming to get. If my team doesn't agree, doesn't feel that they are part of this mission, this project, obviously they would not be able to give their maximum. Until and unless your team gives the maximum, you would never be able to achieve or get to the height that is potentially possible. This knowledge, Swastya ko business bane ko, abo swastya the business nahi bhai sakyo. Private sector dhere havi chha, private health ma. That is unfortunate, very unfortunate. Kine bane mai mo sara life government government ma kam gare. Tara government ko I do not know. There is an inherent problem haru chha. Hamro minendra jile. I'm sure he's going to delve on it. He's personally felt the pain and has had to take very painful decisions in his political career because of morality and ethic. So I think he is best placed to talk about that. But the government sector is really marred with all these kind of problems, which impedes the growth of the institution, the growth of the individuals, the growth of the team. And that is why, unfortunately, private sector is becoming uh, more prominent. More private sector. I more is good as Nacho Bana Chancho Kinabani. Uh, Nepal here could crash up the cottage. The private 
you know, bhanne bitti ke alikiti because because you are investing in technology, you are investing in human resource, hai na? Uh, uh, because you want to make, uh, you know, give the best to the patient. So, this will cost chai, safa sugar de kin lira, you know, investments are higher and the cost accumulates. We don't get any grant from nowhere. That also makes a difference. Hai na? This is why I have a cost of lakhs. I have a cost of lakhs. I have a cost of lakhs. I have a cost human resource, human capital. We jump from one to the other as if they mean the same. But no, you know, they are completely different uh, uh, ideas that have come from different schools. Um, so what is it that we really want to see in Nepali systems is we'll have to be clear about that. I'm sure our, uh, uh, pan, uh, our moderator will give me more opportunities to talk about it. I just want to tell you that whatever I say, today from this uh, panel would be based entirely upon my own experience of managing this world-class institute, which the responsibility, I've been engaged with it from its inception, but the huge responsibility of executing fell on me when, I, when my uh, husband unfortunately passed. And not only was that a huge uh, uh, thing to manage, but then COVID came. Whatever Upendra Dev Kota Memorial National Institute of Neurological and Allied Sciences stands today is entirely because of the team that works there. And how I have nurtured the team, how I have transformed our institution into one boss, he knows it all, he directs his team to a learning organization which, where every individual is respected, valued, and allowed to share his or her thoughts and perform is something that I have learned in the last five years, and I would love to talk about that as we uh, go, go ahead with the, the discussion. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, now I would like to go to Puskar sir. Uh, Puskar sir, you have been in the education industry for the last five decades. Has you produced any student or government employees? Yes, sir. Government employees, you NGO, my Kam Guriraknavala, Bank, my Kam Gurnavala, you know, hospital, my airlines, my Kam Gurnavala, Ozuko Pariche Bina, Ozuka service in a Janavani, human side matching. Are you satisfied with their performance or you think the two should have done more to nurture their human side, sir? Okay, thank you very much for the question, but I would like to answer three things, but the last aspect will be relating to your question. Very brief of two observations. First, in Nepal, the discussions on human resource management itself, when I say that including employment, is very limited, and there is a need for discussing the employment aspect itself. The second, on the financing aspect, Again, when I say financing, it's totally different than you think about it. Uh, but I'm not going to bring there. But anyway, the third I mentioned is the human side of human resource management, development, nurturing. And this is where we have utterly failed. And uh, about the educating process, the question itself, I will come to the last. So the first about your theme because I have been talking about this since last one or two years only. Before that, I have not given much thought. What I want to say there is that our educating process has become mechanical. We have broken the myths, but we have also broken the realities as well. Means Neither we have been able to capture our oriental, our traditional, our pragmatic, or the whole values, nor develop as per the real needs of today and tomorrow. For example, the issue Madam De Kota brought, private versus the public sector, but the services of public sector also is equally poor. Therefore, the fundamental reason is 
the basic nurturing, the human side, when we say human side, Guru has already said something about that. And a lot of writings are there. But compassion, well-being, thinking about the future, thinking about the others, is completely amiss. We have become much more individualistic. Actually, I have a thesis that we are more individualistic than any Westerners, whatever the Oriental, whatever the Confucian, whatever the other philosophies you want to argue it. Manto yo guchiyaru, dhun ke hamro taini example din cha. Khe vane agar yasu bane, hamro forefathers teri brilliant hai, tina rut lai Nepali aru mil lai nan manne saath yo. Kes kaane jabar jashti mil nan lai guchi manai dhe ko ho manne mero argument. Since that is not my idea, I have not done any research on that. This is therefore only a very ad hoc kind of observations. But anyway, my little educating process for Nagari Yota. But think about it, and which probably will be related to my basic answers. But we can make our world much better if you think a little bit about others and others. It doesn't mean that in history we have been all happy. There are those kinds of arguments also. And one example I want to share it, which I have now repeatedly said at many places. In Hindu mythology, the Satya Yuga is supposed to be the best. Mero analysis was most undesirable. Kina Vannakari, early on the basis of analysis. Vishnuli avatar kin lincha? Sangsar ma samasya badi bo bane. Durgun aru badi bo bane. Asaisnuta aru badi bo bane. When there is conflicts, lack of compassion, and more problems. Ab yuta avatar ta hir nahi baki cha. Nau madde paanthuta avatar sabte yug ma liya olle. Isko matlab ke? Jo period sabal na khraap re cha. That is my observation. Tes kaan le? That is where the period where humans were probably better, but you have named the Rachesas or those kinds of things as the ill bringers. There are many more today. Every other human being, the ill bringers, okay, Rachas, okay, Banupanyavatata. I'm not doubting that. But we have to make our lives present. If not present, tomorrow's life. For our generations, we have to make it such to you. And we can do that by thinking about the others. And if you ask, so Ginima Rinpoche is itself here, and he will talk about the Mahayani Buddhist, Badariani Buddhist, where we think about the moche for entire human beings, think about others only. So that is possible, and we have to continuously do it. And you can't argue that all the bhayana tisko ke fayda. Okay, for future it will happen. If not, again for their future it will happen. And if everybody works in that direction, obviously we can really bring Satya Yuga. And it is only through the human values. It is only through the compassion. It is only through the teamwork. It is only through cooperation. It is only through complementarities we can bring it that. Now about the educating process. Yes, it is not only teaching and learning that I have been involved with. For example, even today I am directly involved with eight different universities, one in India and seven in Nepal. And, but we have made a lot of changes, absolutely no doubt about that, particularly in the management education. But, when I talk about educating process, some of the real values that have been, we are making them more mechanical. And even when we have made more mechanical, the kind of skills required, the hard skills, definitely not there, not adequate. That is why more than 1.2 million foreigners are working in Nepal. And 
I was surprised because in 2020, I got an opportunity to make a few assessments as an implication of COVID-19. And there I found that more than 90%, this is not exact figures, not available, but estimations only, more than 90% in the large scale industries are foreigners. More than 60% in the medium scale enterprises are foreigners. Even in small scale industries, 10% are foreigners. This is only in the manufacturing sector. If you talk about the construction, if you talk about even retailing, other services sector, altogether 1.2. So, even in the skill front, we have lacked. We have not been able to. Therefore, what during the, my experiences, we have changed, but making them more mechanical. Therefore, what? Even today we have been arguing and the space is not available. Let me give you again one example. When we designed a BBA course, this was in 2000 and 2001, at Faculty of Management Truven University. This is the first four-year course in Nepal. Even KU was operating three-year course. Four-year means a lot more space. One year additional, at least 30 credits you can add for different disciplines. And why? First let me explain so why two to three year and three to four year. The total body of knowledge has increased significantly one. Secondly, if you know only one thing, you cannot solve everybody. Like we have a doctor here, but even for them, the human aspect, the psychological aspect, even the economics and financial aspect, and of course the management would be required. Means by knowing only a limited sector, now you can't transform the nation states, the societies, the global society. Therefore, we thought that with one more, with almost addition of 25 to 30 credits, we will be able to bring in many different courses. But the demand for the specialized courses is so much, even we could not manage it. So just adding the number of years is not adequate or important. What we actually should be doing, that is why we are trying to do is inculcate the some real human values and principles. For example, in management, I have been arguing we can transform even the global happiness and peace. But it, there must be some educating, it must be included in the educating process as well. Minus that, we'll be thinking. Therefore, the last five decades, my experience is, we are not at all happy at all. And we have not been fully independent to design the kind of curricula which will be required, which will be needed for total transformation of the societies. And hence, the human angles, the practical angles, the ability angles, the personality angles, the total human being. Developing a total human being who is also thinking, who is compassionate. Thinking mindful, being mindful is the most important probably. If you think of every effect before taking your decisions, probably that would be right. And these are the kind of things we will have to incorporate and inculcate in the educating, otherwise what I say, PhD degree leko una saksa motina lai illiterate one to kati lai. So that is the kind of education we have been doing. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, now I go to Dr. Minendra Jal. He may not have title of professor, but if you add his political background, so he is not second to professors. <laughs> our, sir, our, you taught there in New York, and at the same time, you have been, uh, you had been teaching about the political side pressure come down, probably you will be taking classes again. Uh, Gandhi leki vannunthiyo vani, politics without principle is a sin, the papu vannunthiyo. Probably you are the disciple of Gandhi, so 
अब दो देर वॉज नो निड टू रिजाइन यहाँ के पार्टी को जो इलेक्शन भो तर दैट वज विद इन पार्टी अब तो पार्लियामेंट को इलेक्शन थे तो डिस्पाइट दैट यू टेन्डेड अ रिजिग्नेशन अन मोरल ग्राउंड क्योंकि जो प्राइम मिनिस्टर हो अर्क फैक्शन बड़ यहाँ लड़ने भाथ्य तो कंटिन्ू कर ठीक होना मोरलिटी को यहाँ इक्जापल भी सेट कर गांधी को प्रिंसिपल फलो कर जैसे यहाँ हमें आज रेनपोछे उदघाटन कर मोहन सर ने वी आर वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू यू क्योंकि बुद्ध टॉटस मेनी ह्यूमन साइड्स व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट पंचशील देर आर फाइव प्रिसिप्ट गिवन बाय बुद्ध वन अफ देम इज डोन्ट टेल अ लाई बट व्हेन इट कम्स टू पोलिटिक्स हम के पढ़ दु तीन महीना में ओली ने देववाला झुक्याव देववा ने प्रचंड झुक्याव अ प्रचंड ने ओली झुक्याव सो एट द टप लेवल देर आर लायर्स और चिटर्स भाई एट जनता में इंप्रेसन पड़ रखा तो तो बेला में इज अ फाउंडिंग चेयरपर्सन अफ वन अफ द प्रीमियर इंस्टिट्यूट्स अफ नेपाल अपिक्स कलेज में यहाँ धे स्टूडेंट प्रड्यूस कर हमें बैंकिंग सेक्टर में विभिन्न सेक्टर में पढ़ाई रख्छ बट आवर इंप्रेसन अबाउट एजुकेशन इंस्टिट्यूशन सीयर इज तो ह्यूमेन साइड में कम छ दे माइट बी गुड एट स्ट्राटेजी दे माइट बी गुड एट फाइनेंस दे माइट बी गुड एट अकाउंट्स तर ह्यूमेन साइड में जो टीम बिल्डिंग में भाग दे आर विक अब एट हजूला नहीं मैं भन्न चाहे यू आर अकाडेमिकली सो साउंड बट इन पोलिटिक्स यू कुड नट फिट के कारण यह चीज भैर सो ह्यूमेन साइड में कि इंस्टिट्यूशन ने नर्चर कर सक भाई मे बी आवर कंट्री वुड हैव बिन बेटर और वी वुड हैव गट बेटर पीपल इन द वर्क प्लेस थैंक यू फर्स्ट थैंक यू वेरी मच फर इन्वाइटिंग मी आई मीन आई गेस आई मीन दिस प्रोबेबली हेज बीन एन अपर्चुनिटी फर मी टू बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन अ डिफरेंट वे डिफरेंट वे टू लॉर ऑफ पीपल हू प्रोबली नो मी मोर एज समबडी हू हेज बीन इन पॉलिटिक्स for quite some time uh, uh, but probably have not seen me in any other reincarnation uh, so once again thank you very much and also for the kind introduction and also kind words from both the panelists about me uh, uh, i guess uh, when we talk about politics you are, you are absolutely right that uh, you might one might say well again minendra is being a little too too judgmental here the little, little uh, to to uh because he's not too satisfied so maybe he's saying so this is not what it is but but the thing is I mean, since we have not been able to deliver much and then what we are doing is taking the delivery part away and talking about what one would call dream without any way to get that dream or to realize that dream if you do not know how to get there if you do not know how you going to get the roads built how are you going to get people working towards a common goal if you do not know how a high dam could be built if you do not know how a, p- a particular airport that's the that's the most important and most required to be built and then what you start doing is you start selling the hollow dreams and this is what we have been very busy in the pali politics and that probably is why we would not say anything that people would not like to listen to we are we are all, we always have very nice things to say about but at the end of the day what do we, what do we do again and my party is the most important component of the current government government that taking shape but it has, it has taken long to take the shape and because of that the importance of the development has gone to the background has receded to the background that that's the worst part and that's the biggest casualty uh, this country is facing when we we do not have minister of finance for a long time we do not have minister in many many other ministers of course we do prime minister has all the portfolio but i guess i mean but i would not talk about lot talk a lot about politics because when i say a lot about politics then again i i might be accused of being judgmental or i might be accused of using this platform uh, to say bad things about people who i have uh, i have some or probably very strong opinion about let me come back here i guess when you talk about building or nurturing human side of human capital and then as as you pointed out apex as an institution has built human capital but the uh, but, but the human capital that shifts into our institutions probably are not as skill as trained as proficient to bring the human side of management into it when you say that then probably what you are saying is they have not been able to build many others who can be as good as the ones uh, one they have been building new leaders a leader is judged by how many more leaders he can create i guess uh, my uh, 
former professor Puskar uh, Bajra, Puskar Raj Bajra Sare, as, as he aptly, Puskar Ban Bajra Sare, as he aptly pointed. I mean, when he said, he's my student, look at my student. And then that's the tradition. He takes a pride that he has produced so many, so many people who are in various fields uh, in Nepali society. So, I mean, any individual who would like to pro, uh, bring in or nurture in the human side of management, then he or she should be able to tell, okay, these are the people who work with me, they're part of the, my team, and they are what they are, and much better than what I have been in the past. If you cannot do that, if you cannot produce people who are better than you, then you are not proficient at leading. That's not leadership. You're simply managing. So I guess that the, the, the uh, emphasis that you're trying to bring in here is how many have you produced? The ones you would like to be, you, you think you, you are, how many more you have produced? If you're only you and you have not produced who are as good as you or better than you, then you have not done your job. Then you are not a leader. Then, then you are not a manager. I think that's a challenge probably what you wanted to, uh, wanted to be discussed here. For that, I guess, one of the things that has to go away, and I would like to very strongly emphasize that, in politics, what you see today is we're all very self-righteous. We've created our echo chamber. When I, then again, I mean, here I'm not being judgmental, probably cannot be accused of being judgmental. If you go to the echo chamber of Mr. Oli, can you dare to say anything bad about him? If you go to echo chamber of Puspa Kamal Dahal, can you go and say anything bad about him? Or, for, or likewise, if you go to echo chamber of my party president, can you say anything about him? No. And then, what do they get to see? They see people who talk very highly of him. They are, they are living in a polarized world where everybody conforms to him and they feel that they have been the best. And then, they, then the kind of reinforcing that happens creates more and more of self-righteousness. They, they will never be able to look at the mirror in the morning and say, this is what I am. This is what I am. The perception of themselves is wrong. And I guess if we cannot somehow create a narrative that open, frank, candid, and being able to say what we can, we will not be able to get there. But the problem there is with, the today's, with today's technology, people do not go into any other echo chamber. They would love to sit down in the cocoons of their own echo chamber and would not get to hear a dissenting voice. And since they do not get to hear dissenting voice, they do not know how to train people for future. They do not know how to train people who be ready and prepared for tomorrow. And that probably is the biggest challenge today's management uh, uh, man, uh, institutions in, in any field, whatever that, uh, that might be. From hospitals to academic institutions to banks to manufacturing or services. Uh, that, that's the problem we are facing. And that probably is, if we do recognize that, we probably will be able to bring more human, human side of human capital formation uh, in, into management practice today. Thank you so much, Dr. Uh, since we have limited time, in fact, uh, even if one day is allocated for one uh, uh, panelist here, that will not be enough because they are endowed with so much knowledge and experience that we love to listen to them, but we have only 20 minutes time left and there is Q&A session also left. They want to quickly answer and just say, medical practitioner medical health within one minute I'm giving you very limited time sorry for this okay in one minute I think leadership Mr. Rizal our leadership is insecure, corrupt, and doesn't believe in the team. Our general public, all of us, we are scared of speaking the truth. Why we are scared? Because our education system does not do justice. I'm very sad about why cannot the curriculum, if it is faulty, be corrected? 
you know, and made as per the requirement of the day. You know, both leadership has to be open and has to value the, uh, the team, and the system is made in such a way that it nurtures ideas. It doesn't penalize anyone who says or speaks something which is problematic. You know, I mean, we all think that we are doing the same thing. That we are doing the same thing, that we are doing the same thing, that we are doing the same thing, that we are doing the same thing. But we work in silos, and we like, you know, we aggrandize ourselves, and we think we know it all, unfortunately. Sir, अब हमरो विभिन्न ऑफिस में जाना करी चाहिए ह्यूमंस और लाइक कस्टमर्स संग और डीलिंग को करा करें मने आमी बाहर इतने को मार्केट में करे करें मने कस्टमर्स आर लिविंग गॉड्स एंड लिविंग गॉडेसेस मने रामी बंस हो तर यहाँ जी कस्टमर्स सिंपली इग्नोर्ड इफ वी गो टू गवर्नमेंट ऑफिसेस प्राइवेट ऑफिसेस में � what do you want to do? What do you want to do with education institutions or employers? What do you want to do with the human side that we can empower? Thank you very much. Very briefly, I would say the educating process itself. We have to change, we have to develop, we have to broaden. And first, just as we have done a lot of work, education is the only responsibility. And therefore, including ourselves, we have to take the responsibility. And when we are talking about these human values, ethical practices, it has to be inculcated from the very childhood. Therefore, from your own homes, at the pre-primary levels, then the primary levels. That's why I don't have to worry about higher education, I don't have to worry about it, but I don't have to worry about it. We all take. रात महिले दर्ती महिला पांच टिकेट्स पड़े इसलिए को तेल लेकर आए करे महिले बड़ी रेस्पॉन्सिबल लेने से चश्मा कुने संकाय पहना but real nurturing is feasible only at the childhood level that is where the real change towards the betterment of the society is are going to be possible thank you so much sir because we have limited time मैं बोला डॉक्टर रिजाल कहाँ होना चाहिए आंसू धेरे चीज़ है ना यहाँ ले यूएस में अपने लामो समय पसन्द हो पढ़ने हो पढ़ाओ नहीं पनी हो यहाँ पर नहीं यहाँ ले पढ़ाई रखने बाचा पॉलिटिक्स अब नीति को राजा राजनीति मंसंत इसमें अपने यहाँ इन्वॉल्व होने हो क्या चीज़ चीज़ ठक कर चेंज करना पाए तो ह्यूमन साइड में चाहिए हमने झंडे यूएस को अब एट पार विद यूएस तो नवनो अलग कितने इसको लेबल मामी पर उन्होंने चला वन टू थ्री थिंग्स अज़र दैट वी नीड टू फोकस ऑन माय बैकग्राउंड इन मैनेजमेंट एजुकेशन स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम 1981 and, and one of the things, I guess, that year itself, the book came by uh, Bob, Bob Waterman and uh, uh, Tom, Water, uh, Tom Peters in Search of Ex Excellence. And today, I, I was just going through his, one of his latest books, Tom Peters' latest book. And he says, today's management problem is, he quotes somebody else, not him. Today, 90% of the management is making it difficult for others to get things done. <laughs> and this is what we are doing. And then the corollary of that is, if we have like silos, echo chambers, and if you people do not dare to come and say, this is this and it, you, we shouldn't be doing, then you do not get a chance to learn from your mistakes. And if you do not get to learn from your mistakes, you make it's more difficult for others to get things done through others. And that probably is the biggest challenge management is facing today in any, any, in any institution. So if we can somehow create an environment, create a culture where we open our ears, we listen to people, learn to, and accept that we make mistakes and we have to learn from mistakes. I mean, everybody makes mistakes, but I mean, if you stop a mechanism of learning from mistakes, then you are not doing the job that you need to do. That probably is the biggest problem, be it politics, be it anywhere in Nepal. Thank you so much, Dr. Uh, now we have got just 15 minutes time left. Uh, and I request our colleagues to uh, collect questions. I think we cannot take more than three questions. One question to each panelist. Uh, so maybe if you raise a hand first, 
whoever raises hand first, that person will get an opportunity. You can ask one question to each panelist. We have got only 15 minutes time left, 14.2 to be exact. <laughs> yes, please. Please introduce yourself and ask a question. Good morning to everyone present here. I am Malika representing Shikhar Insurance. My question is to Professor Dr. Madhu Ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, it's very nice seeing a woman on the panel. So I'm very happy to see a woman there. My question is that we're talking about nurturing the human side of human capital. But how do we do that in the education system, health system, or the government sector, be it, in the sense that our youth today in the room, I'm sure many of us would agree, most of the youths are going abroad. How would you nurture the youths to stay back in the country? Even our facilitator, sir, he mentioned that, you know, we're at going towards the U.S. as probably not equal, but how do we nurture our Nepalese citizens to stay back and nurture them? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for your appreciation of my position here as well as your question. Your question is, it's beyond my capacity to answer. You know, politicians uh, and other, uh, you know, people who've taken the responsibility for the country are better placed. It's a huge problem. Brain drain is a huge problem in health sector. Talk about doctors, talk about nurses, talk about any other category of health worker. I taught in Institute of Medicine for 35 years. The best of the class are all working, not in Nepal, but as elsewhere. Or up to 60% have, have left the country. So, uh, but, you know, for me, my mantra has been, you know, I've gone through many challenges in life. I have faced many difficulties. What has helped me do or let's say survive in this, uh, in this milieu? Because even private health is becoming very competitive and uh, not as ethical and clean as I would have liked. What has kept me going is my mantra that do what is within your capacity to the best of your ability. And I would request each one of you to remember that and do what is right for, you know, all of us have our little areas of work. If we can, you know, add those values that we have imbibed of empathy, humility, ethics, principles, drive, commitment, strength of character. If we, all of us apply in our work field, I'm sure we would be contributing to a great extent to improve, to make this, uh, uh, our country, a better place. So, you know, I can only talk about things which are, which are within my capacity. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Uh, so, other colleagues, you must be having more questions, but you don't have that luxury. So that uh, the person carrying the mic can reach there in time. I'm so sorry, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Nepal Bank Limited. Thank you. I'm going to ask a particular question. I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to ask a question. Policy, procedures, law, canons. It's a grammar song. So, we have to do this. We have to implement this. We have to do 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 this. We I तो तो प्रॉब्लम छना ही जाते हैं इसमें प्रॉब्लम छाई नाम ले आने तो तो फ्लो प्रॉब्लम तो पॉलिस थेरे जो समय पॉलिस ही में ही प्रॉब्लम था ठाक कई इम्प्लीमेंटेबल रिक्वायर्ड र कंप्लीट पॉलिसी ऑली बनाऊं नहीं नोंग आमी र कई ले कई ले था 
all good wishes that the policy ma rakh dein chau and when you say all good wishes you can't provide anything just ma ta jail pani euta agriculture policy jammai din chau bhanya cha ani jammai dine ne ke pani dinna bhanya bata yeti thorai din chau bhanya bhanya dinna sakcha that is where we will have to improve it thank you so much arko tya last tira kasra sodhna khoji rakhnu bhate jasto lagcha last tira ani tes pachi yaha huna hami time rahyo bhane hello uh... Dear panel members, good morning. I am Namrata from Muktinath Vikas Bank. My uh, question is, I am from Madhu Ma'am, like directed. Actually, doctors' profession is already world round. Ma'am, sorry, but stressed. Ma'am, boss, no, by profession, ma'am, see, doctors are professional beings. Doctors, sir, they are financially abundant. They have niche skills. So, if you could please share some insights on, jo sanga sabhi thok cha. वहाँ सब कसरी इंटरैक्शन कर यू नर्चर दैम फ कंटिन्ुइंगली मोटिवेशन को लगी कसरी नर्चर कर मेरे क्वेश्चन पर्सनल मैनेजमेंट में डॉक्टर्स मैनेज कर गाड़ो भाई डॉक्टर्स मध्य सर्जन्स मैनेज कर एकदम गाड़ो अब न्यूरो सर्जन को तो कुरे नगर हुम आई हेव यू नो आई हेड द प्लेजर अफ बिंग पार्ट अफ अर फर मोर दैन थर्टी इयर्स कस्तो हो जस्त जे ठूल मं भैनी जस्त सानो मं भैनी सब भाई इंपोर्टेंट कुरा भाई के होने ऑल अफ अस लाइक टू बी रेकग्नाइज रेकग्निशन इज अ ह्यूज थिंग राइट रही अगिपनी भाई थे कि कोविड ने हमें धेरे पार्ट सीखा वी डिन्ट नो हाउ टू हाउ टू कोप विथ कोविड सो You know whether you liked it or not, you had to fall back on your team. Or you had to fall back on our system, and अब इस तो problem आयो. How do we deal with it? बंदा केरी. I would be. I would. I am so proud to say that taking acetate paper, हमरो nurses हरु. आफ़े pharmacy में गए रा. त्यो polystyrene को packing material ला काटे रा. On day one, they they made the the uh, face shields. You know we. You know हमरो housekeeping ले आफ़े गए रा. Um, uh, you hand sanitizer banai because there was such a shortage. Mask available thi na, you know, uh, you uh, gowns are available thi na. Everybody chipped in. So you know how I I have done it is by sharing the problem and respecting their views to tackle the problem. Well, again, I banai leadership ko pani role sa, tar system ko pani utti ke role sa. We can't just blame on the system, uh, on the leader. We can't blame on the system. Do we jana sang sangi kam gare bani matre hamle achieve garna saksho hamro objectives. So you know, I think from the mantra for me is respect your team. We may not be given the best platter, but make use of that platter to make it better for everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. नमस्कार म प्रकाश किविरे नेपाल वायुसेना निगम बाट पब्लिक इंटरप्राइज सार्वजनिक संस्थान बट प्रतिनिधित्व अलग कम छा सावजनिक संस्था प्रतिनिधित्व करने एटा सावजनिक महत्व को अथवा सर्वसाधारण सर्वसाधारण छुने हमी सर्वसाधारण को लगी काम करने संस्था को प्रतिनिधि भक्त हिसाब से म मेरे प्रश्न सीधे डॉक्टर मिनेन्द्र रिजाल प्रतित्यक्ष हो चाहूँ वहाँ अगर राजनीति में त्याग को त्याग कर खोजुभ देखिं अना राजनीति में वहाँ को कस्त भूमिका अब आगामी दिन में कसरी अगड़ी प्रस्तुत हो जनता को अथवा भन न हमी नेपाली को अथवा हमी अ एचआर आस्पेक्ट्स में हमें कुरा ह्यूमेन रिशोर्स ह्यूमेन कैपिटल डेवलप करना को अगड़ी राजनीतिक वृत्त में बसर अथवा पोलिशी मेकिंग लेवल में वहाँ के कस्ट कि सलाह सुझाव संसद में कसरी प्रस्तुत करूँ तो वहाँ को आपको विषय हो यही सेवा सुविधा सामाजिक सुरक्षा ये मन का आजीविका कुरा आजीविका का कुरासंग रहकर कई प्रश्न वहाँसम सोन चाहूँ कर्मचारी को आजीविका सामाजिक सुरक्षा सेवा सुविधा रचआर एस्पेक्ट्स ह्यूमेन रिशोर्स ह्यूमेन कैपिटल साँचिक एचआर कैपिटल बना को लगी नीतिगत रूप में अथवा भर न हम को राजनीतिक राजनीतिक भन न दृष्टिकोण कस्तो है अलग यह राष्ट्रीय सभा में एटा विधेयक होता तो गैर सरकारी विधेयक हो तेस में अब यहाँ अगि मैम ने भन्न भो हर एक मानी डिग्निटी को डिग्निटी को लगी अथवा पहचान को लगी काम करमचारी को पहचान के हो 
है राज्य के कुछ दृष्टिकोण हे कर्मचारी है एटा भर अ हाईआरकी में भर न गाँव पालिक को सदस्य भाग तल्लो स्थान में राखिया एटा भर न शाखा अधिकृत अब ते रूप में लिखा तो कुन पहचान हो कुन स्थान हो है समग्र में यी सवाल को जवाब मैं दिवला धन्यवाद थैंक यू वेरी मच क्वेश्चन को डिफ्रेंट एस्पेक्ट्स आर वेरी इंपोर्टेंट आई थिंक आई मीन वी कैन टॉक अबाउट इट इन सम अदर कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑल्सो दिस प्रोवर हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट नर्सरिंग ह्यूमन साइड अफ ह्यूमन कैपिटल सो इफ आई डुअल इन टू Uh, everything that legitimately you have asked of somebody like me i probably will not be doing justice to uh, nurturing human side of human capital i will stay i mean i will try, try to bring an example uh, i guess i mean this this is this is this would be complementing to what professor puskarman was has, has to say had to say about the earlier question policy is good implementation is not there I also disagree with that statement. I fully agree with Pushkar, Professor Bajra said that we do not have a good policy, and the biggest evidence of that is we cannot implement it. If we cannot implement something we have written, that means we have not written something that we, with, with an intention to implement. We're just making a statement, wish list, and that probably is the biggest problem. I'll give you an, two examples. One, during earthquake, I had an opportunity. as minister of information and communications and the spokesperson of the government of nepal i do i mean i feel very satisfied in during those difficult days we were able to coordinate national international public private individual effort and get the result get the result done what that tells to me tells me is nepal has that capacity the only thing is we are missing the link to coordinate that we are missing the link to make everybody put the best of their efforts they are capable of that's what we missed so i guess we have that and if, if we we can do everything just the way we handle earthquake uh, in the first uh, month or so two months actually i would say then i guess i mean even while gathering together we are mobilizing funds for reconstruction we did a great job I mean, we got support from throughout the world, but the reconstruction work was not as quicker, as faster as the rehab uh, and relief work was. That again says, I mean, after one, the, the most challenging thing was over, then we started sitting, uh, sitting down, and then not paying attention to, and not doing the collaboration, coordination, providing leadership, and it took back seat. It, it took back seat. And and just to add to that, I mean, if we look at, if we do not look at the things that we do and then if we do not think in a way that who is going to be there if after, after i am gone we will not be we will not be nurturing human capital so i mean my message one line message to in, in this session would be don't think about yourself think about who you are leaving behind and who is going to do a job better than you have done that probably was the best nurturing of human cap human side of human capital thank you so much dr sap uh, just to, to add one point on this uh, at the time of earthquake there were people like dr rijal and dr swarnim wagle was there in, at npc and dr ram swarnam moth was there at finance ministry when these people were there they could muster uh, international support also so what i am trying to highlight here is if you have right people at the decision making level then there can be wonders that is with this i would like to conclude and hand it over to mc thank you so much and i would like to express gratitude to all the panelists for wonderful uh, views thank you so much thank you so much uh, uh, sir for bhuvan sir for facilitating this thought provoking uh, panel discussion and thank you to our panelists sirs and uh, ma'am for uh, you know kindly consenting and also sharing your knowledge and uh, since ma'am is from the health sector i've been with the health sector for the last 2 years i uh, recently resigned but uh, i was in the communications of health sector so i resonate with uh, the thoughts uh, given by ma'am and also uh, since uh, we have two sirs and with minendra sir i don't know if he remembers me but uh, while he was uh, as the minister for the 
government of Nepal. I have emceed a lot of programs, so I can connect to what he says. And uh, also, Pushkar sir, thank you so much for uh, your thought-provoking provo uh, words and sessions. At this moment, I'd like to call upon uh, Samjana Ma'am, the co-chair of HR Meet, the steering committee co-chair, to kindly come forward and present the token of appreciation uh, to all our four distinguished guests uh, on the dais. We would like to begin with uh, Pushkar sir, since uh, Samjana ma'am is just uh, right next to Pushkar sir. Thank you, sir. And we'd like to present you with a token of appreciation. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. And now we'd also like to present our token of appreciation to Madhu ma'am. And for facilitating and uh, moderating the whole session, Bhuvan sir, thank you so much. Uh, that was indeed done very well, very well spoken, and uh, uh, for sharing the knowledge. Thank you. And to uh, Dr. Minendra Rizal as well, thank you so much, sir, for giving us your valued uh, inputs. Thank you, Samjana ma'am, for kindly consenting to come forward and present the token of appreciation. And uh, on this note, I'd also like to thank the audience. Um, I tried to, you know, at least get uh, the names of the organizations correct from Shikhar Insurance, from Muktinath, uh, Bikas Bank, and also from um, Nepal Alliance uh, Corporation. Thank you so much. At least organization uh, like So thank you so much for uh, that wonderful panel discussion and for participating so well and uh, for, you know, putting up great questions.